Hi guys, I'm back again with another Advent Vega ROM review. This time we're going to be looking at Vega Comb Beta 1.5. This was released early tonight over on the Tablet ROMs forum by Newbie 5 Corvus and Home SP. The guys have been working tirelessly to get this up and running. Um, as they weren't happy with the 1.4 release, uh, it was stable but it wasn't very quick. Uh, they've gone out and got version 1.5 which is the speed of build 1.3 and the stability of 1.4 and a few extra fixes chucked into the mix so we're going to go through some of those now so we can get to Bluetooth and enable that and go to Discover I'm just going to turn on Bluetooth on my HTC Wildfire and make sure it's discoverable and then in theory we should see HTC Wildfire in the find their devices so we can see the HTC Wi-Fi there and we can pair them together so that's a, a good step forward we can also go to screen and enable screenshots now without force closing so if you hold down the recent apps button you'll get a little pop-up in a second that says do you want to stay in screenshot mode or exit we'll say no go to recent apps and go to gallery and a folder called screenshots should appear in just a second there it is and we've got a lovely screenshot of our settings menu so it's a really good step forward because the honeycomb menu stays active throughout all the applications you can jump back into uh, the screenshot mode whenever you need to to take some screenshots of your game so sort of high scores achievements you've got in game anything like that you want to show off which is a uh, pretty damn good we can also now um, get music so if we go to music the guys have fixed the media scanning service so we can get some mp3s on the go without having to go through a file browser which is a nice added bonus they also mentioned that the usb port will now accept xbox 360 usb pads i'm going to try this out later um, and see if i can get some emulators going on it because you can map your buttons on those and hopefully we'll get some nice emulator action going. If we're going to set CPU, you'll see they've upped the overall speed to 1.5 as a, a top end overclock, which is good. Personally, we're mine at 1.4. Uh, no real reason for it, and it just, for me seems a little bit more stable at 1.4 than it does at 1.5. And the default clock speed is still 1 gigahertz, as in ROM 1.4. They've got rid of the annoying blue light. As you can see, we've got the charging light going off in this corner here, which is purple, which is all nice and charging. So I'll make sure I've got that in shot so you can see it. The annoying blue light lived just under the bezel to the right of the camera, sort of here ish. Um, and it shone really brightly when the screen was off and on standby. So I finally got rid of that, which is a, uh, a big bonus for me. They've stopped the UI crashing uh, when you do a fresh boot with a system. It did look a bit strange when you're trying to show people, oh look I've got a tablet that shouldn't have honeycomb on it, it's got honeycomb and the first thing it does is crash. So it's great news I've got rid of that. Uh, they've also added a few extra frameworks, so a few apps that didn't work in the previous one now work. Uh, Newbie 5 did a video earlier on a development release of this just before it went live that shows uh, tweaked out working which didn't work in the previous release which is great um, you see the speed's still there you can skim through everything at pretty much breakneck speed and that works fine um, it's really polished now it's it's um, I've had this running for a good hour or so and I've not had I've not had any crashes or any slowdowns or anything which is fantastic um, one thing that uh, is really good that was done by, I believe it was done by Homer SP, was if we hold down the power button now, we now get a menu pop-up, which we didn't have before, um, hence why I've got my little script on the desktop to uh, shut the, t the uh, tablet down. We can now go to Home, Power Off, Reboot or Recovery, all from the same reboot menu. And if we go into Apps, you'll see there's no uh, Reboot Kicker program, so we don't need it anymore as it's not uh, required. Uh, a few issues still persist. We've got things like uh, camera, that force closes, not a big issue for me personally. Uh, flash doesn't work at the moment either. 
Um, Newbie 5 did mention they were looking into it, hopefully going to get it working sometime soon. For me, it's not a really big issue. Um, I just tend to browse for the web. I don't, if I use Flash, I use it on the PC, so I'm used to doing that. So for me, it's not a biggie. Uh, the percentage bar, occasionally on the battery, mine's reporting correctly. The odd person has said that it's not reporting correctly on theirs, so it's kind of hit and miss. And that the Wi-Fi can be a little bit unstable, but I turned it off and turned it back on again. It works fine. I've not been experienced that myself either. Um, but as I say, it's a very, very good build. Um, we've still got all the, the niceties of the last one. So you can grab things like a big clock, put it onto whatever screen you want. And if you hold it down, it zooms in. So I'll put that there. We'll go to an app. Say... Uh, email, grab that, go on the screen, hold it for a second, it zooms in, you can stick that where you want as well, we've got uh, some extra live wallpapers, these ones I've installed personally, so the Weather and the Ice Galaxy are ones I've installed, uh, no real settings on there, we'll just get it going, so you can see we can have a live wallpaper in the background as well as skimming around, there's some quite nice graphical wallpaper and it doesn't slow the system down too much yeah now, now, now the background's running at full speed it runs pretty smoothly so uh, yeah it's uh, a much more polished ROM um, I'll link a video to it below of the Newbie 5 um, pre-release video of it so you can go through some of the extra features that uh, um, the guys are fixed in it and he, he goes into some depth on some of the videos um, on some parts of the video sorry about what's been fixed why it was fixed and things like that if you go over to the table uh, so tablet roms forum I'll have, have a link in that below in the notes as well there's two versions of the update there's one if you're not running really vacuum uh, you can go straight to 1.5 and there's another one where if you're only 1.4 you can patch it up to 1.5 big bonus means you don't have to lose anything um, it took all of two minutes to flash this I think when I did it earlier uh, but I do recommend wiping the Delvic cache as it does make the transition out a little bit smoother and negates any bad flashing um, so if you guys got any comments leave them in the box below if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to check out any of the other videos jump over to this channel and check out the previous videos uh, i've done a quite a few different rom videos on there now so you guys have got a lot of roms you can pick from and go through but not have to worry about flashing them um, if you guys got any suggestions it's, uh, of roms you want to see or any apps you want to see leave those in the comments below or drop me a inbox on youtube and i'll see you guys next time